Hi, everyone, and welcome to this week's podcast. I have with me Antara Quinones, a physical therapist at Alpine who has completed some high-level certification training in lymphedema therapy. My first question, Antara, what is lymphedema therapy? Well, Brent, before we get to that, we probably need to take a step back and find out about what the lymphatic system even is because a lot of people don't know about it. Um, I know myself, even getting my doctorate, it was a blimp in, in the whole schooling process. But basically what the, lymphode- or what the lymphatic system is, it's, it's a system that mirrors the circulatory system. So um, as you develop in the embryonic state, um, your, um, as your vessels form, there's this lymphos- lymph system that's forming too. So tiny little capillaries and vessels that are forming as well. Um, to help, the, the, the main role of the lymph system is to remove proteins from tissues. So it, it, it helps the venous system, it helps the circulatory system take fluid out from between the, the tissues and put it back into the heart, put it back into the circulation of the body. And so what happens if that's not working right? If it's not working right, right then you end up with an excess of proteins um, in between your tissues, which draws water. So you end up with massive swelling. Not a, it doesn't even necessarily have to be massive swelling, but swelling. Um, and, um, and that swelling, if left unchecked, can get out of control. The other important role of the lymph system is that it, um, it's a big component of your immune system. So um, goes, it, what goes hand in hand with that swelling is uh, often um, skin infections, ulcerations, and your skin just breaks down. So that's kind of a, a, a sequela of what's going on mm-hmm. with the swelling. So in a sense, you're a swelling specialist. I am a work. swelling specialist, yeah. Well, how did you get interested in, in working with the lymphatic system as a certified lymphedema therapist? Um, there's a need for it in the community. There's not, um, there's not anybody that really fulfills that role um, from a specialist standpoint. And then as um, just in general orthopedics from surgeries and trauma and whatnot, we do see swelling and sometimes that swelling can get out of hand. I mean, unless you treat that swelling, you can't resolve the underlying problem. So Antara, I've I've gone through the whole PT program 25 years ago and I remember we talked a little bit about the program. Uh, I was pretty clueless on the whole thing, but I do remember trying to work with the system a little bit and I, I can tell you now knowing what I've learned about what you know, I was completely off base. So it seems to me that somebody that's a physical therapist like you that has taken this amount of interest to go through an extensive certification process, you're gonna be approaching this thing from a whole different angle. Yeah, there's um, what I do is called complete decongestive therapy. So there's three components to it. Um, The first component is a very specific technique, manual lymph drainage. So um, um, it's it's very light pressure and um, very, very specific directionality of the movement. Um, and, and the second component is compression. And so depending on the level of um, level of edema that needs or swelling that needs to be removed from the system, um, I follow that with compression. And that can be um, that that can be anything from a garment, so a sleeve or, or something that, that will be put on the arm um, to help keep the fluid out once we've removed it with the with the manual drainage techniques to uh, wrapping, and the wrapping can actually get fairly extensive. Um, and the wrapping is very specific, it's created of layers. Um, the, I have an example here of um, the type of material that I use to wrap. Um, it's not elastic, um, so it's, it's got about 50% of the elasticity that an ACE wrap would have. So if you look at the different and the stretching, this stretches to about 150%. Um, whereas this is a, creates more of a wall and doesn't allow for the swelling to come back in. And then the third component is exercise. So I do the manual lymph drainage, then we do compression, wrapping, um, and then we follow with exercise because our muscles act as a pump to get the fluid back to our heart as well. So we're, we're capitalizing on all different components um, to get the, get the fluid out and keep it out. And complete decongestive therapy is now the gold standard treatment for, for lymphedema. Now, when you see patients, it sounds to me like right off the bat, there's going to be a tremendous amount of education for yes. those people. Yeah. A lot of what I do is education because once you've had, once you've developed lymphedema, it's a total insult to your lymphatic system. 
that doesn't change. It's with you for life. So I become a bit of a guide. Um, I, I'm an instructor at how they can manage it. So um, the, during the intense phase, which runs two weeks to four weeks, depending on the amount of swelling, um, I'm teaching them how to manage it. So we're not only working on reduction, reduction or getting a lot of the swelling down, we're gonna try to keep it down through techniques that they learn how to carry it on through the rest of their life. And then they check back in with me as needed. So in summary on that part, you mentioned a manual lymphatic drainage, compression, exercise, mm -hmm. and overall education. Mm -hmm. I just wonder, um, when you talked about the types of patients that you'd see, you'd mentioned uh, trauma, yep. post-surgical, people that have had a surgery that has swelling. What other um, populations of people would you be working with? So primarily in the United States, um, the leading cause of lymphedema is cancer treatment. So um, because your lymphatic system is responsible for a big part of your immune system, quite often when you have cancer, your, that part of your immune, immune system is attacked, so your lymph nodes. And anytime you have a lymph node removed, you're at a greater propensity for developing lymphedema. So breast cancer patients who've, who've undergone um, radiation or um, removal of their lymph nodes are at great risk. So that's probably the one of the leading populations. And then also um, just anybody with uncontrolled swelling, some people have a greater propensity to swell than others. Um, Post-trauma so or surgery, you know, in, in the orthopedic world, so if you have a total knee joint and your knee just swells up, you gotta get that swelling under control before you can affect the underlying system. So um, even those patients are appropriate. So I know you're also a team leader at Alpine uh, in the oncology rehabilitation program. Mm -hmm. How do you work within that realm as a, a lymphedema specialist? So um, a lot of the same stuff. So uh, the breast cancer um, treatment, uh, or tr helping, helping with the breast cancer um, treatment population or, or any form of cancer. Um, in that once, once they've had treatment, radiation, surgery, or otherwise, they are technically at um, a, f a stage, stage zero of lymphedema, meaning it can develop at any point beyond um, that, that cancer treatment um, in their lifetime. So just giving them the education and the knowledge to, to address it and know what it looks like and know when they need to come see me. I just think it's fabulous that uh, your training, you've completed that, you uh, completed the certification component, we'll talk more about that, and that this is sort of an unveiling of the lymphedema program now at Alpine that you're a program director of, obviously, and I just think it's, it's uh, fabulous that there's a connection now with the fact we're mm -hmm. also launching at the same time uh, the oncology rehabilitation program, which you're a team member of as well, uh, in, in the fact that we're here in um, September and October is Breast Cancer Awareness yeah. Month. So. And Physical Therapy Awareness Month. So. Hey, I forgot about that as well. Yeah. <laughs> so look, I think our viewers really need to know the difference between someone like me who's a physical therapist, has been for 25 years, has really no understanding and uh, formal training in lymphatic therapy or lymphedema therapy, and how does that contrast uh, with what you've taken on in terms of your training, education, and certification? So I went through the Norton School, um, and there's several schools in the United States that are accredited by the Lymphedema Association of North America. Um, and it's an extensive training. You, you spend, I think I did about 35 hours of pre-course work, and then it's a 10-day course, 10 hours a day. Um, there's practical at the end, and then a written exam at the end of that. And then once you get through that class and pass that, then um, you can sit for your board exam. Um, and so I've done that. And you completed and that. And so what, what yeah. would you say your title is using the, the lymphatic association terminology? Technically, it's Certified Lymphatic Therapist um, of the Lymphedema Association of North America. That's a mouthful. It and it, it ought to be with what you've gone through. I just, <laughs> I just continue to see the disparity between, um, and here in Missoula, where we really don't have a person with mm -hmm. the training that you have. I know there's, there's several people that are doing some form of uh, lymphatic therapy, if you will. Uh, but it sounds like to me that Missoula is blessed that you have chosen to take this on and you're leading the way as a uh, the only LANA certified uh, lymph lymphedema specialist in Missoula and I think they have a lot to benefit from your uh, passion, your energy and your experience. So I'm just excited to unveil with you the, uh, the lymphedema program and there'll be more on that as we go along. But right now I want to talk about the 
or have Antara talk about the tip of the day. Today's tip of the day is after receiving any kind of cancer treatment, if you feel any heaviness or tingling, changing of sensation in your limb, to get in to see me as soon as possible. I do offer free 15 minute consult, so if you do have swelling for any reason or feeling that change in sensation in your limb, to come see me as um, soon as possible. I'd love to have you. I would like to give special thanks to Antara Quinones for just spending some time with us, really educating us about the certification that you've undergone, the types of people that you can help. We really want to encourage you to visit our website and learn more about uh, what Antara does, or if you have specific questions for Antara, don't hesitate to contact our North Clinic.